Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. This video is episode 2 on our 10 gig networking series and if you haven't watched the first video I highly recommend that you do, I will put a link to it in the top right corner. In this video I want to focus on a special type of audience or a use case and these are the creative professionals like editors, content creators. This type of use case frequently deals with large amount of heavy raw footage and complex projects and I can tell you for myself I also edit my own videos and I store my raw footage on my Synology NES and there are a lot of benefits of doing that but when I try to edit off my NES over a 1 gig network I also experience all the disadvantages and even doing a simple task like scrubbing through a timeline can become almost impossible to do but now thanks to Synology that have sent me their DS1621 Plus along with almost every possible upgrade including a 10 gig network card and thanks to ASUS that have sent me their RT AX89X their beast of a 10 gig router I now got a glimpse on how this process can look like over a 10 gig network and I can tell you that the difference is, the difference is like night and day and this is exactly what I want to show you guys. I will show you a, a virtual machine that I have set up for this purpose to, to show you how it looks like over one gig network. And then I'm going to take sort of an overhead shot of my personal editing rig that will be connected to a 10 gig network. And you can see the difference for your own eyes. So let's go over to the computer and start seeing the differences. Join me. Alright guys, so we are at the computer and before we do anything, I just want to remind you guys that I'm going to work on demonstration raw footage that is not nearly as heavy uh, as professional editors uh, sometimes deal with and I'm only a single user whereas editing studios can sometimes have uh, multiple users working on the same raw footage at the same time which will uh, make lagging and slow overall slowness, slowness a lot more severe than what I am going to be experiencing. First of all, the computer that I am going to be working on uh, for this demonstration is connected to a 10 gig, uh, sorry, to a 1 gig network. Let's go over and just verify our current speeds. Uh, these are the typical uh, speeds we, can, we, we will encounter in a 1 gig network. That's just fine. All right, we get, the, we get the idea. So I've prepared a virtual machine and I've installed my editing software that I uh, frequently use, which is Camtasia. It's a Windows 11 uh, virtual machine, but it doesn't matter the operating system of the virtual machine, not at all, because we are going to be pulling our raw footage of our uh, current Synology NAS over the network. And in fact, let's go over and import media Let's select a video that I've uh, uh, recorded for my uh, previous episode one of our uh, 10 gig network series. And as you can see, it's loading. You see the circle here? It's loading, loading, loading. I also uh, opened up task manager and we can start seeing some uh, network uh, um, traffic going on. And it still didn't really finish loading the, uh, the entire video. And I'm going to put this video in the timeline. I, I'm going to uh, keep the uh, project as, you know what, let's convert the entire project to 60. Just to, uh, uh, to give this uh, project more, uh, more stress. And as you can see, the audio, the audio markings still not uh, uh, finished loading. This will take a long time over a one gig network. And now let's try to scrub through the timeline. I'm going to grab my marker right here. And as you can see, it's, there is almost no reaction on the screen. You see the stuttering? And when you're editing video files and you need to scrub through a timeline to find the exact uh, footage you want to edit and you're working on a one gig network, working like this, to, to say that it's 
hurting your productivity is just the understatement, the understatement of the year. Now, let's try to play this video. As you can see, it's almost, almost not moving at all. Now, think about an editor that needs to do actions on this raw footage and to get this response from your network uh, is simply, I, I can't say differently, it makes editing almost impossible to do. Now, other actions like cutting, pasting, deleting several, uh, several sections of the video, this will work just fine. But to get to a point where you can do these actions, you really need to scrub through a timeline and you really need to play back the footage to see that in fact you're dealing with something you want to delete. You can imagine for yourself editing like this is simply a no-go and keep in mind this is only a 7, uh, seven gigabytes of a raw footage video within 60 fps. Think about what happens when you have hundreds of gigabytes raw uh, worth of raw footage and multiple users are trying uh, to do actions on the same raw footage at the same time. It's a, it's a showstopper to say the least. Now, I'm going to uh, uh, take an overhead shot and I'm going to connect uh, uh, to record the screen of my personal editing rig when it's connected to a 10 gig network. So I'm going to pause the recording right here and I'm going to go over to my overhead, sort of an overhead camera. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I am now uh, filming or uh, shooting my own uh, screen because I can't connect the virtual machine to the 10 gig network. So I've connected my personal computer to my 10 gig network. As you can see, we are connected over 10 gig. All right, just for reference, let's see what our speeds look like. All right, that's, that's what we were uh, expecting. Between four and five gigs, because we have uh, our bottleneck here are the SATA drives. So these are exactly the speeds that we are expecting. All right, so we get the idea. I've loaded my uh, editing software, which is in this case Camtasia. Let's try to import the same raw footage data, but this time from our 10 gig uh, connected uh, uh, NAS. All right. All right, so the file, the raw footage is loaded. It's still spinning, but believe me, it will take a lot less time to load. Let's see our network uh, uh, usage, almost non-existent. It's already loaded uh, the entire uh, file and metadata. Let's put it on the timeline. As you can see, the, the, audio, the audio markings are loading real fast. There's no comparison on how, uh, on how it looked like over the one gig network. And now let's try to scrub through the timeline. Sorry. As you can see, super responsive. There's nothing to compare between the one gig and 10 gig network. It's almost like I'm playing back this video, uh, this video file, this raw footage. The responsiveness is uncanny. Now let's try to play back the video file. As you can see, it plays back as if the file was stored locally, no stuttering, almost no lagging, maybe not 100% lag free, but I think that it's close to 99% lag free and stutter free. As you can see, the differences are really night and day. Editing from one gig devices and editing from 10 gig devices. Really, for creative professionals, I think this is, this should be the default. I think that in one gig networks are, at least for the creative professionals, should be at this point a thing of the past. So this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys, the differences between one gig and 10 gig networks when it comes to creative professionals and editing. I think that the differences are so clear, so, uh, so apparent 
uh, that I think that uh, everyone can understand that this is not the same league. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you like this video, please give it a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye guys.